Hello everyone, welcome to UCSP lesson number one. So for today's lesson, I will introduce to you the introduction to culture, society, and politics. And also the subtopics, social, cultural, and political change. But before that, Let's have the learning targets or the most essential learning competence. So at the end of the lesson, you will analyze the concept, aspects, and changes in or of culture and society. Specifically, it aims to recognize social, cultural, and political change, evaluate the reasons for these changes, and Strengthen the need to study social, cultural, and political change. So, here are our contents. First is the introduction to culture, society, and politics. Next would be the social changes and examples. Cultural changes and examples for the third one. And the fourth one would be political changes and examples. So here, we will be talking about first the identity. So identity is a distinctive characteristic that defines an individual or is shared by those belonging to a particular group. People may have multiple identities depending on the group to which they belong. In a family, for instance, one's identity can be that of a daughter, son, a brother or a sister. In school, a person may be a member of a student council, academic organization, or a club. So next would be the culture. The culture, which is loosely defined as a society's way of life, provides the basis for forging identities. It allows people to understand themselves in relation to others and provides them a lens through which they base what is considered the right way of doing the thing. There are material and non-material aspects associated with culture. Let's say for example, in material aspects of culture, we have the trends, we have the fashion, we have the clothing, we have the music. When we say material aspects, these have substance or physical form aspects of culture but when we say non-material aspects this refers to the values the customs the norms the behavior that are passed on from generation to generation that is the non-material aspects of culture next would be the society so here in society it is a social product created by the actions of individuals that then exerts a coercive social force back on those individuals. Through their collective consciousness, so as for Durkheim, he argued that human beings become aware of one another as social beings, not just animals. So here, we will be talking about the social change. And when we say social change, this refers to the transformation of social institutions over time, having a profound effect in the society. Another definition from the Encyclopedia Britannica, social change in sociology is the alteration of mechanism within a social structure characterized by cultural symbols, variants, rules of social behavior and social organization or value system so when we say social change let's have this example martin luther so our example is the reformation of christianity roman catholicism during the medieval period was the only one allowed 
to be praised and worshipped by the people and state. That was changed because of Protestant Reformation. Today, Reformists or Protestants can exercise their freedom of religion and separate themselves from Roman Catholicism, becoming a distinct entity from it. Aside from that, there is now the so-called separation of church and state, which states that religion must be freely exercised without government intervention or government's decision must not be influenced by the religious power. And that is the reformation of Christianity that create social change in society. So let's have the sources of social change in our society. And first is the innovation, the social creation and institutionalization of new ideas. So here is our example. The concept of freedom of religion, which paves the way to the founding of different religions and its separation from the mainstream religion. This means that Protestants, Anglicans, Lutherans, Eastern Orthodox, and other religions that resulted from different interpretations can freely exercise their faith and culture without the mainstream religion's intervention. So here are presented the different cultures or the different religions because of the different interpretations and other practices that divides the mainstream religion. So next is the diffusion. In diffusion is the spread of innovations from one social setting to another. It occurs when one group borrows something from another group, such as norms, values, food, clothing, and other innovations. So say for example, here is the, in Philippines, for example, Muslims are strictly following the teachings in their Quran. The same with the non-Christian believers following their own creed. However, in this modern day, Muslims and non-Catholics are now implicitly acknowledging the spirit of Christmas, despite its origin. Same with that, Catholics are also enjoying Ramadan, especially in schools and workplaces as it is mandated by the government to observe Islamic holidays. Muslims are strengthening their faith during this time, while Christians and non-Muslims are having their break from school or from work. So next is discoveries. So accepting new ideas or thoughts that we weren't noticed or learned before. So our example here. So in medieval times, religious faith were known to be the best medicine that cures or mends all disease. But when different scientists all over the world discovered pharmaceutical chemicals like morphine, penicillin, amoxicillin, and other medicines based on scientific faith, religious faith becomes an option, and scientific faith was finally accepted in the 1990s. So here are the personalities that triggered social changes in their respective countries. Say for example, Dr. Jose Rizal, Mahatma Gandhi or Mohandas Gandhi, and Winston Churchill. Next is cultural change. But let us first again remember or define again the definition of culture. So culture comes from the word colliery, which means to cultivate. It also shows abilities, notions, forms of behaviors persons have acquired as members of society. 
the relationship of culture to society is culture is the acquired cognitive and symbolic aspect of existence while society is where the social organizations of human life in simple terms the place where culture happens is what we call society and everything that happens within a society this is where culture happens through continuous human interaction so what is cultural change cultural change is the transformation of culture of the way people live culture just like any other things in this world constantly changes but ironically resist this in inevitable changes. So sources of cultural changes in our society. First is the physical environment, which consists of the particular natural surroundings in which you live or which we live. So our example here is Farmers who rely on crop production and poultry farming. What if there is a scarcity in the production of crops and poultry due to heavy rainfall and floods? In order for these farmers to sustain the needs of their families, they will find another livelihood and this could change their culture and tradition. Next would be the population movement where people from one place to another are moving or transferring from one place to another migration of a person or a group of people changes their culture our example is a Filipino citizen is accustomed to the use or the usage of spoon and fork however if this Filipino citizen migrated to East Asian countries like Japan, China, or South Korea for about three, three years, he or she will be able to adopt the use of chopsticks in eating. So next is the war and conquest. When a state conquers another territory and the population within that territory, it influences their culture. For example is when the Mongol Empire subdued China with the leadership of Kublai Khan, established the power of Mongols in the land of China as Yuan Dynasty. Chinese culture became part of the identity of the Mongols who migrated in China after Kublai's successful invasion. Ideologically and culturally, Mongols tried to be isolated and prevent themselves from assimilation of the Chinese culture. But as time passes by, the Mongols are becoming the Chinese-like people. The fourth one would be Technology Application of scientific knowledge to the making of tools to solve a specific problem. So for example, the transition of old-style farming or the manual labor of agriculture into the utilization of technological machines which provided less work for farmers and more productive or more efficient in producing agricultural products. After we discuss the introduction of society, culture, and politics, the different social changes and cultural changes, and also their examples and sources, we will now go to the political change. But first, let us define what is political change so political change is when rulers of a country lose power or when the type of governance in a country changes also 
rulers have huge influence onto the politics of a state because they bring with them their values, ideologies, and principles whenever they are in power, and this influences the perception of their constituents. However, even political dynasties crumble, and a different ruler comes into power. Just like, for example, having the actions and decisions made by the so-called superpowers, such as United States, Russia, China, Japan, and other first world countries, can also affect the politics and governance of every country in the world. So here are two types of political change. So first is the internal type of political change, where changes due to the youth awareness and active participation during elections, emergence of civil society group, or power revolt of the masses to oppose the system or depose a leader. So our example is when the Filipinos created a people power revolution last 1986 to dethrone the President Ferdinand Marcos and put a stop on the martial law. So that is the internal type of political change where the people or the citizens inside the country are making their changes or making their move or actions to make a change or to amend the abuse and exploitation in the country and the next political change is the external type of political change where it is initiated by the other countries it usually happens through military threats or actions but could also occur in embargoes or withholding of foreign aid just like for example when the nazis were involved with the ideas and political plans of Adolf Hitler, thinking that the Weimar government have sold Germany to the Treaty of Versailles. The Nazis and Hitler, together with Mussolini of Italy and Hirohito of Japan, they engaged and started the war for the Second World War. That is an example of our external type of political change where bigger aspects in the world, like for example having the Second World War, the First World War, the changes made by the OPEC, the changes made by the United Nations, they can affect or they can change the politics of a country. So. This is where we end our discussion regarding the introduction of society, culture, and politics and the different changes of social, cultural, and political change.